everyone. Today, we are going to dive into the fascinating topic of the distribution of key natural resources across the world, with a specific focus on South Asia and the Indian subcontinent. We'll also explore the factors responsible for the location of primary, secondary, and tertiary sector industries in various parts of the world, including India. Natural resources play a crucial role in shaping the economic and industrial landscape of different regions. The distribution of key natural resources across the world is not uniform, and this disparity heavily influences the location of industries. So, let's take a closer look at some of these resources and understand how they impact industrial development. One of the most significant natural resources is oil. Oil-rich regions, such as the Middle East, have become dominant players in the global energy market due to their abundant reserves. These regions serve as the primary source of oil for many countries, making it economically viable for industries to establish themselves there. The oil industry, being a primary sector industry, requires proximity to oil fields for extraction and refining processes. This has led to the establishment of vast oil refineries and petrochemical complexes in regions like the Arabian Peninsula, which heavily rely on their oil reserves for economic growth. Another crucial natural resource is coal. Coal has historically played a vital role in powering industries, especially in the production of electricity. Regions boasting large coal reserves, such as the United States, China, and India, have seen significant growth in their energy-intensive industries. The high demand for coal in the secondary sector, particularly in industries like steel and cement production, has led to the concentration of coal mines and power plants in these coal-rich areas. For example, in India, the states of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha are known for their abundant coal reserves, making them ideal locations for industries that heavily rely on coal as a source of energy. Moving on to minerals, the distribution of key minerals across the world is also an important factor influencing industrial location. Take iron ore, for instance. Iron ore is a crucial raw material for the steel industry, and regions with significant iron ore deposits have a competitive advantage in steel production. Countries like Australia, Brazil, and Russia possess extensive iron ore reserves, allowing them to establish and expand their steel industries. The close proximity of iron mines to steel plants reduces transportation costs and facilitates efficient production processes. Now, let's shift our focus to factors responsible for the location of primary, secondary, and tertiary sector industries in various parts of the world, including India. These factors can be broadly categorized as physical, economic, and social factors. Physical factors include access to natural resources like water, minerals, and arable land. Industries that rely heavily on water, such as hydroelectric power plants or fishing industries, tend to be located near rivers, lakes, or coastlines. Similarly, industries that require specific soil conditions, like agriculture or horticulture, are often concentrated in regions with fertile land, such as the Indo-Gangetic Plains in India. Economic factors, such as proximity to markets and transportation networks, also play a crucial role. Industries that produce perishable goods or have high transportation costs, like agriculture or dairy, tend to locate themselves near their consumer base to minimize transportation expenses. On the other hand, industries that export their products, like automobile manufacturing or electronics, often set up near major ports or transport hubs to facilitate efficient global trade. Finally, social factors, including the availability of a skilled workforce and government policies, also influence industrial location. Industries that require a highly skilled labor force, like high-tech manufacturing or pharmaceuticals, tend to concentrate in areas with access to quality education and training facilities. Additionally, government policies, such as tax incentives or subsidies, can attract industries to specific regions. For example, the establishment of Special Economic Zones SEZS, in India has led to the concentration of industries in designated areas, promoting economic growth and employment generation. 
In conclusion, the distribution of key natural resources across the world, including South Asia and the Indian subcontinent, heavily influences the location of primary, secondary, and tertiary sector industries. Oil-rich regions dominate the energy industry, while coal-rich areas witness growth in energy-intensive sectors. Abundant reserves of minerals like iron ore impact the steel industry. Factors like access to natural resources, proximity to markets and transportation networks, availability of a skilled workforce, and government policies all contribute to the location of industries. By understanding and analyzing these factors, we can gain valuable insights into the economic and industrial landscape of different regions. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.